If you haven't subscribed already, ring that bell to get notified when new movies are posted. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKitGeek.com, the channel where we try to bring you new videos every week on any smart home uh, related stuff, whether that's Apple HomeKit, uh, Amazon Madam A, Google Home, all the above. And today what we're going to be looking at is um, something that I've been wanting to check out for a while, which is the Sense Whole Home Energy Monitor System. So. To kind of get the idea here, let's go back in time a little bit. Like most people, I started a smart house and went, hey, I'm going to get me some plugs. I'm going to get some energy monitoring in those plugs, and I'm going to start to get a handle on my energy usage. And I bought a plug, and I, and I got a little, I got enough information on one device, and then I had to buy another plug. And there are some devices, uh, you know, I either had to buy too many plugs or I just couldn't get the information in one place or uh, I didn't like the aesthetics. Um, and eventually I ended up to the point where I just abandoned the idea of trying to track energy usage with plugs. And that is where Sense comes in, is the Sense device, it connects right into your electrical panel and then um, it basically measures uh, a million times per second your energy usage and is able to sprinkle some machine learning dust on that. And what comes out at the bottom of that process is it's able to identify individual devices that are running in your house and an individual um, consumption for each of those devices, which is kind of cool. This is a device that um, I'm really happy with it so far, but it's kind of, I didn't know what to expect with it. So I guess that's the, the hardest part I've had with trying to decide how I feel about it. I think this is the kind of device, um, and I truly believe this, that today we're looking at Sense. The first thing I wanna say is get an electrician. So Sense.com, this is a device that is going to install into your electrical panel, and it is going to measure your electric consumption at a million times per second. Um, and with all that data, it's gonna be able to tell us basically what is going on. It's going to detect our devices and more importantly, it's going to help you understand your electrical usage. So again, this is going to install in your electrical panel. It is both a wireless uh, 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth smart device. And essentially, um, this is the device that I have been missing for a long time in that it's going to really help me understand the entire house electrical usage and not just um, up on a plug by plug basis. So rather than try to tell you about it, let's dig right in. So you can see here, the sense arrived, um, make sense of your energy. That's what it's supposed to do. Is it is supposed to help us understand exactly what is going on and identify things like irons and toasters. Um, understand what your appliances, lights, devices have to say, see what's up, know what's on. Right on the box. We like that, it's kind of clear, it's uh, easy to understand. So I wanna actually take a little bit of time with the box because Sense obviously did as well. And they give us a whole bunch of little facts like where did the word watt came from? What, what exactly is a watt? It's uh, 700 and whatever is one horsepower. On October 19th, 1879, the first light bulb ran for 13 hours. So these are absolutely electrical nerds. They're electrical geeks and I love it uh, because they really, they show us the passion that they have for understanding the energy usage and for energy in general. Um, and honestly, to attempt to do what they're doing, you really need to have that kind of passion, right? Um, again, please make sure you get a qualified electrician involved in this. You're messing around inside your electrical panel. Please, please, please get someone qualified to do it, right? Um, again, all the instructions are here. This actually folds out into a giant poster and gives us all sorts of uh, good information and really tells us what and how Sense is going to be um, detecting our devices, which essentially is by sensing these electrical signals uh, a million times every second, it's going to be looking through that data and looking for patterns of data associated with specific devices. More customers they have, more devices they're able to, going to be able to detect with a greater accuracy, which is pretty cool, right? So that the more people, you know, if you decide to uh, purchase a Sense and, um, you know, we have the same devices, that gives them more of a energy pool to kind of choose from. And what's really amazing is you'll start to see it detecting and identifying more and more devices as you live with this, which I think is pretty amazing. 
So getting a little further into the box here, we'll get into some stickers that they've provided to us, as well as some instructions, right? So the stickers we could always put on the electrical panel, let you know what's there. Maybe that's the point of them. I don't really use stickers that much on my electrical stuff. So, uh, but more importantly, this is the poster that really takes you through the installation or hopefully uh, takes your electrician through the installation. So do not get rid of this. You are going to need it. And as you can see, it really, it folds out, gives you um, a bunch of different uh, installations depending on what kind of electrical panel you, you have. Definitely, like I said, refer to an electrical professional, a certified electrician. You don't want to mess around with this. And in fact, let me do a little public service announcement here. This is as good a time as any. This is actually one of my breakers that we found when I was getting the sense installed. Uh, according to the electrician, I was headed towards an electrical fire within the next 12 months because of this. So uh, get your panel checked no matter what would be my advice to you, right? Whether you get a sense or not, please get someone, if your house is, you know, 20, 30 years old, get someone in there and look at it because things might not be exactly what you think them to be. Just because everything is okay now doesn't mean they will be okay forever, right? Maintenance is a good thing. I just didn't know. Now I do. I got it fixed. No problems here now. Avoided a fire and all the fun that would have come along with that. So getting back into the video, you can see here the, the sense is the little orange thing I pulled out and we've got these um, pair of clamps here. And these essentially are just going to um, clamp around your main. Get an electrician involved. I can't say that enough times. Uh, don't mess around with it. And uh, from there, you're just going to have your, your uh, power, which is going to go into one of your breakers. You've got an antenna here in that most electrical boxes, uh, or at least a lot of them, are made out of metal, which is not going to be wireless friendly, right? So you're going to have the antenna in here as well, which will give you the ability to uh, connect to Wi-Fi outside of the box. So again, I'm not going to actually show the installation here because uh, I don't honestly want to encourage that without having an electrician involved. So let's go right over to the application install. So after your electrician has installed your sense, you're gonna be able to turn on the app and start detecting it via Bluetooth. So you don't have to worry about having your Wi-Fi set up yet. And it's gonna go through um, essentially, and it's gonna to connect to that sense via Bluetooth. It's gonna verify the install that everything seems to be working right. And then it's going to allow us to scan for Wi-Fi networks and we, were, we are going to connect to one of those. Now realize that um, you're gonna be, depending on the integrations available, you're gonna to have to be in the same layer two subnet or on the same Wi-Fi network. So be aware of that. I actually had to come back in and modify that later because I wanted to turn on the Philips Hue integration um, and help Sense kind of learn a bit faster, right? We get to put in a username and password here. And once we've done that, thanks for installing, we've got it successfully installed and it says, uh, now we need to calibrate, um, takes us through some, some uh, just general informational things. And honestly, now this is the worst part uh, because you really don't see anything right away. Uh, the way that Sense works, it's going to take time. It's going to take days, weeks, and uh, honestly, in my case, even um, a month or two later, uh, I'm still finding new devices. So this is uh, something that you got to kind of be in it for the long haul. You can see here that I'm getting the current draw, but I've got no devices. It's going to go through this signal check and calibration process. Um, but it, what I can also tell you is it was worth the wait, especially when you log into the app and you see this or you get a notification. Sense found LG TV. And then you have the ability to go in and kind of see what it was doing over time. Um, you can check the power meter, how much power it was actually drawing over a period of time. You can tap on the settings up in the bottom right hand and actually fill in make model uh, location so meaningful to you. You can get notifications on it. And the make and model stuff, what's kind of cool about that is that's actually fed back into Sense. So it helps other people understand when they get something detected that's similar, maybe it's got the same pattern. So this is part of that educational process of, of going through all the data points, right? Sense found my dishwasher. Uh, uh, the Philips Hue integration found a whole bunch of light bulbs, right? Um, and you can see here, there, it may be a dishwasher, it may have been a floor heater. It's not perfect, right? This is using 
um, machine learning, which essentially is probability and some very, very advanced guessing when, when you come right down to it. But it's pretty cool that it's able to go through and kind of start telling us exactly what all these different devices are. Um, the bubbles here, I think, is a really interesting uh, creative visualization. And these things are to scale. So it gives you an idea of how much um, any particular thing is drawing electricity and gives you as a user, gives me as a house owner, uh, the ability to go, hey, you know what, that fridge too, I don't really use it that much. And that's a pretty big bubble. Uh, maybe when I have these goals, which I can set in the app, maybe my goal would be well served to get rid of that fridge too. Maybe I don't need that anymore, right? I have a, a fridge in the garage and quite frankly, I'm probably just leaking money because uh, I really don't use it that much. For me in any smart home venture, monitoring is so critical, so, so, so important, whether that's motion sensors, temperature sensors, uh, humidity sensors, all those things, electrical sensors, because it brings awareness. And with awareness, you can actually do something about these problems. For instance, on the screen, it says the sense average always on is 288 watts and mine is over a thousand. Yeah, I know there's other stuff going on in my house due to my uh, my occupation, but frankly, you know, maybe there's something I can cut out there and now I can kind of watch that, measure it and see how I'm doing over time. Um, we've also got integrations where we can integrate into Amazon's Madam A, um, Philips Hue, right? So that was the, my light bulbs came up automatically, Google Assistant. And because I've got the Philips Hue integration, I can actually shut off the light bulbs directly within my app. Uh, there are more integrations coming. There are integrations in beta and uh, they actually have a very, uh, quite a vibrant community site where Sense users who are pretty passionate users, it's a pretty cool community, um, can go in and vote and request for new integrations. So final thoughts on Sense. Um, again, get an electrician if you're going to get this, please, please, please follow that. Uh, but all in all, I'm really, really, really enjoying this device uh, a lot more. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, the website kind of makes it sound like magic, and, and it's not. Uh, it does require some patience. It requires some, um, some thought as you go around the house trying to figure out what exactly it just discovered, because that's not always 100% clear. But I really, really do believe that this device is going to help me understand uh, kind of my electrical usage, uh, mine and my family's, and hopefully, that will allow me to adjust my behaviors, adjust my patterns, the way we live in this house, so that I can kind of cut down on my total footprint, which I think is what we all want. What do you guys think? Is this something you would put in your house? Uh, you got any questions? All of that, I want to hear from you. Put it in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and likes, shares, always appreciated. We will see you guys soon.